<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. We last left off on, well, I guess the beginning of day three. Although. It's weird, I see it more as like the end of night two. Whatever, I'm dumb. <clears throat> Let's see, things that happened last time. We met the singer lady, which is cool. We got a new song. Um, uh, wait. <clears throat> oh, did that idol really show up, or was she like the ghost? Hey, I thought I already looked at this stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Make sure that maybe I saved it and then turned it off at the wrong time? No, I did, because I saved it after I did all that stuff because I bought the one song. Alright, well anyway, let's quit fussing about here and go to work. Thursday, December 15th. Good evening. Oh, hi there. You seem excited, Gillian. Uh, who are you? Alright. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Her hair looks like that of a... It looks like a bird. Alma? Ah, uh, Leonidas. Do people not use, like, their actual given names very often? Gillian. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Excuse me. Where's the boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? <laughs> she went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Alright, so... I guess we'll, uh... Let's see here... Clearly we have to put the new song on here, since I actually know it's new. Um... I don't think... I'm gonna be dumb one day and I'm gonna take something off and immediately just put it back on and not remember what was where. I don't think I've listened to this yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh god, that was a vicious sneeze. That Showtime? Alright. Reminded me like the beginning of a siphon filter, like cinematic startup. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Yes it is. What was that? Oh, just something that made me say back in instruction. It kinda stuck. Oh. You know, that's still funny. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands and on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh wait, I think they mentioned. I think she mentioned Alma in the last. Blah blah. I think she mentioned her in the last time I was playing. Now that I think about it. To G G uh. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. <laughs> that Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before her concert, actually. 
Oh yeah, now I see your name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. That stoic looking duo, right? <laughs> yep, those. So. I am out of the loop as far as I can't really throw up a comparison, but Kiro seemed pretty cool. Sai, seems you had a better day, day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. Who's Damien? I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for what? A few months now? I thought that was going to be a longer period of time that she was about to say. Like, oh, we've known each other for years, blah blah blah. I know you like the back of my hand. Ebba da ba da ba da. <laughs> no. Alright. I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but usually there's not enough time to foster something to break. <laughs> it's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. <laughs> You could pretend to be more interested, you know? <laughs> Are her eyes red too? Is she an android? I can't tell. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Huh. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like they are. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, what does that mean? For all the pictures you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Oh, like uh, like one of those things that it's like a little slideshow and you just download the pictures to it. Something sneakily taken of that. Is that true? What do you care? And how did you find that out? So it is true. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't make a hacker angry. Oh, I really like the de That's kind of creepy. I like this one. It's it's interesting how much Jill seems to admire her boss. I think I'll copy it. You. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Pfft. Sure. That's funny. My name. Alright, let's see. Two. Alright, on the rocks. Two Bronsons. Two powdered deltas. Four. I'm stupid. Alright, one more time here. Two Bronsons. Two powdered deltas. Two flanergides. And then four karma shines. There we go. We're <laughs> nothing but. <laughs> I don't know if I already read that. Do -do -do. There we go. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, is this Jill laugh at the drink's name? Is that what that was? Oh, well. So who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car is actually what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out, he was a LARPer. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, that's kind of interesting, though. It's also weird that that kind of... <laughs> of all the weird things to weird like niche little hobbies to keep intact to carry into weird future land society where it seems most people's lives are broken and sad it's weird that LARPing <laughs> is something that managed to stay alive it sounds more like the nicknames of some heavy-handed writer or military organization what did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Uh... Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll around... Ugh. Ugh. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with. At all. 
Okay. Fair enough. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking off like you've had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. <laughs> Think about it, have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Hey. I'll have you know that using the wrong word drastically changes what your sentence means. I probably should have read the sentence before I commented on it, but okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And I'm at least trying to get some... <clears throat> at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent a night with someone else? Last night? Your cat doesn't count. Why not? They can talk to her. They, it talks to her, though. A year ago, it was messy. Ugh. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that, because Jill is not sad and lonely, or well, might be lonely, but she can handle it. If I were you, I would have... That's messed up. <laughs> People have different needs and priorities. Yeah. Honestly speaking, I'm someone who prefers the cold. Using them as... Mixing your perfume with theirs. Protecting you? Jill. Anything I can... Anything I can make you... Make you to shut up and drink. I'll have you know that my uncle Juan... I almost read that, like, Juan, for some reason. I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking. Or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. I can get behind the puns thing, just stop talking about other people. Still, getting me something... Get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's give her the thing from the bottle. She was just talking about perfume. Here you go. What? Oh. Alright, so I misunderstood I was thinking uncommon, as in something that no one asks for, ever, and it didn't occur to me that yeah, something from the bottle, duh, could probably buy it at the store. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini and then something like Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, sometimes I feel the need to just... I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien was because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Excuse me. Hey, speaking of routines. As a hacker, what's your opinion on this whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard, silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. <laughs> Stupid enough to warrant the speech they've prepared for occasions just like this? Okay. This ought to be good. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. <laughs> it's hard to pick up, or it's hard to like notice, because you could easily just see it as this little fleck of light, but it's the anime sweat bead right there. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. Anonymous. I just remember that it was petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist's identity. Excuse me. 
The whole Alice Rabbit thing. Also, that last song, the Your Love is a Drug, really good. I like it. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. Also, yeah, this one's pretty good, too. That's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything everyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. And a lot of nonsense for what's essentially, essentially a pet that the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, I have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. Yeah. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attentions of kids and such. Oh. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of ugh, teenagers broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that darned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is. Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out for some time. Hanging out sometime for too long. You're sitting right in front of me, having a chat. We are hanging out. Right in front of her. Oh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make me make you that uncomfortable? I don't think so. It seems like you're pretty decent friends. No, I. At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way, you can't can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. What? Why? You know, you need some human warmth in that place. But I'm sure her cat keeps the place just fine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. Maybe that is why I like Jill so much. I just lost my train of thought. I thought I had something to say, and, but I also got stuck reading the thing. And now, okay, react too nonchalantly, I do that a lot too. Like, I am underreactive to the point of it being hilarious to some people. React a little bit, let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness though, anything you keep turning down my invitations? or any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations. I mean, it's not a date, I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I respect that. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. Yeah. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. Yeah. Not for me anymore, but it would have been about a year or a year and a half ago. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna, go, gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. Finally, that's the all I know. Alright, so we need it, but we need a one that's doubled up. 12 Adelhi, that's alright. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get that ager thing here. 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. Alright. <laughs> Ta da! Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. 
problem is the BTC got a hold of a brand of Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. That's strange. You know, I was wondering. Yeah. Don't you worry about what the people you might work or work for might be doing with the information you provide? Hmm. This should be an interesting discussion. Not really. No. You don't. You're not worried about them using it for evil or anything. You don't. Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do people get drunk? <laughs> or do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. Okay. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or... I don't know. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. 